Hi everybody, today we're going to be talking about lesson 24, classifying triangles. Uh, I would like everyone to please watch this lesson and to write down the definitions as they come along, okay? So we have talked uh, previously about angles. We have talked about acute angles, angles less than 90 degrees. We've talked about right angles, two lines that are perpendicular that form a 90 degree angle, and obtuse angles, angles that are larger than 90 degrees. So today we're going to talk about how we look at triangles and classify them. So there are two ways for us to classify triangles. The first is by looking at their angles. So we have an acute triangle. Every single triangle has at least two acute angles. However, it's that third angle that we're going to look at. If all three angles are acute, then it is an acute triangle. If that third angle is a right angle, then we call it a right triangle. If that third angle is an obtuse angle, then that triangle becomes an obtuse triangle. So I'd like you to go ahead and draw these and label as examples, noting that it's that third angle that we look at because two angles in any triangle will always be acute. Okay, so first we can tr classify triangles just by looking at the angles. However, we can also classify triangles looking at its sides. So, in an equilateral triangle, equal is your main word here. All three sides are the same length in an equilateral triangle. The three sides of an equilateral triangle have equal lengths. In an isosceles triangle, only two sides have the same length. That third side will be a different length. And in a scaling triangle, None of the sides are the same length. So now we can actually look at any triangle and classify it using both angles and sides. So for example, if I had a triangle that looked like this and it was um, 5 inches, 4 inches, and 4 inches. This is a right angle. So we would call this an isosceles right triangle. Okay, you are always going to name the sides first before the angle, okay? That's just how it's done. It's an isosceles right triangle. Okay, let's go look at the examples. Okay, so here we have example one. All three sides of this triangle are congruent, and we know that congruent means the same size and shape. So therefore, all three sides are the same length. So which of the following term does not describe the triangle? Well, if all three sides are the same length, then it is an equilateral triangle because equilateral means that they're equal. Acute, well, all of these are acute angles. So yes, it is acute. Since this is an equilateral triangle, it cannot be an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle means only two sides are the same. So this is not an isosceles. And because it, it is an acute triangle, it cannot be a right triangle. These two are talking about the sides. And these two are talking about the angles. Each triangle will have only one side and only one angle 
describing it. Okay, let's look at example two. Oh, goodness. It's not what I wanted. Here we go. All right, example two. Sorry about that, guys. Draw three angles with sides that are segments of equal length. Make the first angle acute, the second right, and the third obtuse. Then for each angle, draw a segment between the end points to form a triangle. Classify each triangle by sides and angles. Okay, this is gonna take us a minute, so bear with me. The first step says draw three angles with sides that are segments of equal length. Make one acute, the second right, and the third obtuse. So, I'm going to make an acute angle, okay? Do your best to make them the same length, okay? You don't need to get out a ruler, just do your best, okay? The second a right, and the third an obtuse, okay? So here are my three angles. Then we're going to form triangles by closing these up. Okay, and now we're going to classify them. So, this is a, an equilateral triangle. Since this is an acute and these two are the same length, this one will be the same length. So this is an equilateral, equilateral, acute triangle. Okay, this one, these two are the same length, but this third one is longer. Make these bigger if you need to, to help you figure that out. So this is an isosceles right triangle. And this last one is a scaling obtuse triangle. Okay, all right, that's it. Off to the lesson practice. It does continue with I and J on the top of the next page, and I will see you in the morning.